I don't love these at home tests because IgG antibodies at this point in time aren't a reliable indicator of whether or not you are sensitive to this food because IgG antibodies are present even, they're present even in small amounts with regular foods that you will eat. So something I know a lot of people have experienced is they'll get this test back and they'll have like, you know, 30 foods that they're not allowed to eat anymore, like, you know, according to this test. And they're thinking, I haven't eaten this food in years. Like, why did this show up? Or they're thinking, um, oh my gosh, like this is a staple food in my diet. Now I can't eat this. What am I supposed to do? So I don't love this diet. And by I don't love, I mean, I'd really recommend against it because the nature of the brain is to keep these negative stories anyway. 